How's it going guys? My name is Uncle Drip and welcome back to Dragon Ball Fighters. In today's episode, I'm continuing my series where I'm uploading videos from my fight in COM this last Wednesday. So, like I said last time, it's been a very long time since I played this team, honestly, since mid-August, which is around like a month and a half at this point, so... It was not the best, because I was just dropping stuff left and right. Uh, I managed to win my first two matches though, which were against Silver and some um, and another opponent, I can't really remember right now, and that was a nice confirm. Um, what I do remember from this fight is, this guy's hit is very solid, and he, I was making a lot of mistakes this fight too, like I was dropping stuff left and right, as I said before. And I was also getting hit by stuff that I really should not have been getting hit by, that should have been 2H. But we can find him at EX, let's see if I drop this combo. Um, okay, I went for this route instead. I thought he might try to press a button, he tried to look for Okay. Well, we got him with the reset into the Dragon Rush. He's not gonna die right here, I should probably level 3 with someone else. I would've... I should've swapped up just to get Team Go on out, but you know, we got people anyways, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I guess I'm gonna keep Team Go on in, and I do have to use one later. Okay, so we're off to a pretty good start this fight. Um, walking into this fight, I didn't really have too much to worry about because I fought him before. I fought him a lot in the past online and ranked. I thought I crossed him up there. I guess I didn't really need to do, but I <laughs> stayed on the same track. So that was kind of lucky for me. And I dropped the combo. Okay, so going into this fight, I'd fought him many times before in ranked, so I wasn't particularly worried because I like pretty consistently tended to beat him. Um, so at the same time, I haven't fought him in like a month or two, so he definitely could have improved from that point, but. As it was going right now, I was pretty confident just because, as you can see, I'm in a significant lead. That said, he does have 7 bars of hit, so he can basically one-touch Team Go on if he earns a combo starting with 5M. Um, okay, I should have DP'd there instead, I should have confirmed off that hit, I don't know why I didn't. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna die right there. For probably one bar, actually. Or he drops it, okay, reflect. Oh, never mind, I actually baited him that time, wow, I learned. Uh, he's gonna die right here. No... No real issue this fight, honestly. <laughs> um, I can't believe I actually went for that bait there, that was pretty smart. So I guess I conditioned him throughout the match to reflect after that key blast, because like, I conditioned him to know that I would go for a reset to him after the bait is um, reflect. So he went for a super dash there instead to punish me for just doing a key blast and resetting my block string, but that time I went for a 5H instead as a follow it. So that actually punished him for trying to take his turn back, so that was good. That was a very solid round. I did drop a combo here and there, but it wasn't the worst, and that was a cursed super dash. Okay, um, I guess we have to deal with this next. Hit isn't honestly the scariest, I don't know, I don't think he's all that hard to fight against because he doesn't particularly have the best solo mix. His, his um, 2L is reactable, his 2M is very reactable as well. Um, oh wow. He, it was actually his turn right there. Okay, we block these, and see, I react to that improperly. I stood up even though he went for a 2M. I have no clue why, maybe I thought it resembled his 2L for some reason. But because of that team going to get a literal ton of damage and I ended up using the character, that was just a defensive issue on my part. Um, I think it actually happened a few times this set, and wow, okay, never mind, he hit this there. And we go for the side knock down the normal extension. I still need to figure out if this is the exact optimal extension. Okay, uh, no take on the dragon, so let's head out of the way. Like I said last video, people do not feel the need to look for a dragon rush after getting hit by Krillin's 2-2-H. Because he just, or is it, sorry, his 2 3 6 H Because they're hit with the rocks or they're in block stun, but... So they don't feel the need to look for it. Okay, um, we managed to get him there. Should I level 3? No, I don't. Okay, good. That's good. I'm glad I didn't. He's probably gonna... Okay, we got him. I thought he was gonna be mashing 2H. Um, that was an unintentional. I was trying to go for a 2 3 6 I remember, uh, but I ended up getting 2 2 instead. Uh, okay. And is he gonna level 3? Yes, he will level 3. That is the proper choice for him to go to because he wants to recover what blue life blue Vegeta has left. Um, still not too scared. He could go for the grab or something. Ah, uh, yeah, he did. So Bluku has a lot of options off his level 3 in the corner. He can go for an empty low, um, an empty low Dragon Rush, or an empty overhead Dragon Rush, normal Dragon Rush. Um, all kinds of stuff. Like, I honestly feel like Bluku, when he's played properly, like, really functions well as a grappler. Uh, because he can, like, 
immediately after like an assist blocks him, he just run up and go for the grab with his like you know his 214M or 214L. Um, okay, nice. And he caught me there. I was not watching for that. That was still a very good jump in. Uh, does he have loops? He might drop it. Um, no, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. I should have punished him right there. Oh, I can't believe I did that. And I got hit there too. Oh my god. That was kind of cursed. He whipped his super dash, and I didn't expect it to whip, so I got hit. Um, okay. And we 2H. Oh, no. Nice. I should have baited that reflect that. I got hit by the 2 3 6 H. Okay. Um. I just have to play slow. Why? Okay, yeah, that was really stupid. He was just jumping over and over. Um, do I agree with you with I think I do because it brings him to the corner. At the same time, I waste a lot of sparking time. And sparking is a really valuable tool in my opinion. I messed up my instant air dash. Oh no. And, okay, level 3? No, he's gonna spark instead. I tried to 2H him there. Didn't come out. And so I ended up losing Yamcha, losing the second round. I honestly feel like that round didn't go nearly as well for me just because I was making mistakes left and right. Getting reset in pretty scrambly situations, which isn't ve the very best for my team just because of the fact that um, uh, neither Team Gohan or Krone or Yamcha are very strong in scramble situations. I mean, besides like the obvious auto combo mash from Team Gohan. Um, okay, he tried to go for a super dash. Okay, um, I went for the left right mix right there, reset him. I'm gonna go for- I should go for medium legs, yeah, okay, um, I messed up the timing on the assist, we blocked this, and I stood up again, and that is Team Gohan dead. I definitely think I'd die here because Hit can put up a literal ton of damage. Uh, yeah, three level ones is gonna kill Team Gohan, get him out of the way early, kind of unfortunate. Um, okay, so we're down to Krillin and Yamcha, and he is a very, very healthy team. If I just have to play the smart, I can't get hit. I can't keep getting hit by that stupid setup that he does with it. I can literally just mash and it won't work. Okay, um, I have to just do that. And I drop the confirm. Nice, we're plus right there. And, okay, what is his mix up gonna be? He guard cancel. That was a good guard cancel. Um, okay, we got hit by that. Luckily, he didn't confirm it. That would have been unfortunate. And he is. Basically, his approach to neutral, I don't think it's honestly all that great because he just keeps IAD backdashing. Like, I don't know why he keeps going for that option, he gets hit right there, and if I can control the Krillin, I might be able to go for no ball. Uh, no, definitely not. That is not, there's too much scaling on that from the Wolf Fang Fist. Bring Krillin though, get his Blue Goku out of the way, we're all set. We're actually pretty even now, I do have more meter than in fact, so... At this point I was a little less worried, but he still has his hit alive, which kinda sucks, he's gonna backdash it. Ooh, he mashed, and I actually blocked it that time, wow, I'm glad, but I got hit there. That kinda sucks, level 3? No level 3, okay, I'm gonna probably spark, okay, I didn't spark. Um, nice, we got him with the M2 like Dragon. I was just waiting to see what I was gonna do. Uh, I think my mix-ups have been pretty decently on point with this team so far. It's just the fact that I'm not confirming off my hits. I haven't been extending with um, my assist properly in the last set as well. Um, I can't believe that hit right there. That was really ballsy. I blocked, I sparked right there. That was beautiful. If you could, if you guys can't tell, I'm starting to panic at this point. Level 3, yes, he level 3 is. Because I'm just in situations I don't want to be in. And when I want to skip neutral, it's just, it's habit to just press super dead. And you can't do that against hit. We block those. And I go for the level 3. Does it hit him? Uh, we'll see. Um, no, it doesn't. He didn't go for the, oh my god, I super dash through the And, yeah. So, that is the typical, I drop my combo, I have to press super dash situation. I do that all the time, so people who down tech press buttons against me always tend to do really well, which kind of sucks, but what can you do? Um, okay, he's doing neutral, and we got him. Nice. This should be a dead hit, actually. Because even though the Yonder level 1 is super weak, it does enough damage, so yeah. Almost the last hit, but it's all good. So it's down to solo Blue Vegeta versus solo Yamcha. Blue Vegeta does significantly more damage, and is significantly better in neutral at this point, just because I could have punished him right there. Oh my god, he pressed a button there? He was even plus. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have stood up there. I should have just gone for a 2H. Okay, we were ready this time though, and assuming I don't drop this combo, I did drop this combo. I shouldn't have gone for that. I'm definitely not comfortable enough with Yamcha again. I should have. Another mistake. With Yamcha, when they do 2-3 success full screen, you can reflect and punish them with Wolf and Fist, the EX extension. I shouldn't- oh no, I made a mistake, I could've killed him. And I could've killed him again, oh no! And he mashed 2-H. I remember distinctly. I was so tilted when that happened. I hit him so many times, he dropped it. 
Um, well, I was hoping that I was gonna get over my tilt at this point because I'm in losers loser side now. I honestly was very upset at the way I happened to get into this uh, into losers because I dropped so many confirms and just wasn't happy with my performance at all. But I tried to shake it off so I'd be able to do well. But as you can see, I'm already starting off this round with another drop. I dropped my um. Actually, no, I don't think I was actually in the proper zone for out there work. Um, nice 2H, wow. So, with Team Gohan's JL 236H cross-up, the way it works is you have to be a certain distance away from the opponent so that your cross-up JL actually lands in the red spot. Um, I'm going for solo optimal stuff. And, okay, we got a lot of damage off against him. And we go for the normal setup. He got hit by it, wow. Um, and I dropped the confirm. Yeah. So, this tournament... Really dirty play. I'm hoping in the future to actually, you know, play properly when I'm in these tournaments, like not drop stuff left and right, which I shouldn't be dropping. Um, okay, we reflect him right there. Nice reflect. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? He, okay, he's got pretty solid on the. He's avoiding my assists pretty solidly. Another thing I'm calling out about myself is my calling of assists. I'm basically just pressing Krillin's assist whenever I have it up. Not really timing it strategically. I should be timing it when they're in the air so that they land into the hit the block stun from the Kamehameha. That was kind of cursed. If he confirmed that, that I would have died. I'm just watching for a grab right now, and I can't believe I got hit there. Like, it's literally just Jiren. I can just sit there and block. The only thing I really have to watch out for is that grab. But Team Gohan dies because I got a little bit impatient and want to just steal my turn back. Okay. Uh, this fight is actually also going pretty evenly at the moment. I have Krillin Yantra, he has Jiren and um, Broly up. You know, this team is actually pretty similar to the team I was trying out earlier with on the 17 Jiren and Broly. But I'm honestly considering swapping out Broly from that team, just because I really don't like playing Z Broly. It makes me feel like, it makes me feel guilty, and also like I just don't like playing him at all. The way he plays just doesn't fit me. But we got some pretty good damage off that, considering it was a 5L, and okay, we got the spark out of him. Um, I should be ready for him to super dash more or go for the cross up like I was ready there. I guess I didn't want it. We super dash at the same time. Okay, we ready. Um, that was a horrible Kamehameha. I basically reflected and tried to punish him with that, but he vanished. So it actually ended up being one of the worst decisions I could have made in that option. So in the future, I'll probably avoid doing that when they are in um, sparking. I don't know if they can cancel out of that in normal as well, so maybe it's honestly not the best options for me, but that time I was a mashing vanish. I can guarantee I did not vanish that Dragon Rush on reaction, I was just mashing it. Um, he's gonna die right here, level 1, level 3, I should swap out Krillin, um, or two level 1s, level 1, okay, nice. And he's down to Z Broly. This set is already, it's turning around in my favor. I still wouldn't exactly say I'm in the clear yet, because you know, Broly is Broly, nice block, um, okay. What is he gonna do? Oh, he is pressing buttons, and I didn't confirm off it again. You hate to see it happen. Um, I thought I crossed him up, and he mashed J 5L there. That should not have worked, because I literally landed my JH on him. I guess the way I landed it was just whack enough that it didn't end up working out for me. Um, he's not gonna kill me, I don't think, at least. I don't know how much damage it exactly does. Um, oh, we, we endure. We barely live this. I'm ready to... Ma Okay, I thought I was ready to mash vanish, but I guess I wasn't. So we're down to a Krillin vs. Z Broly. Not the best matchup in my opinion, okay? Um, oh my god, he jabbed me out of the after image mix. That is another Broly perk. Um, okay, I'm ready for the grab. I did not mean to do that whatsoever, I guarantee it. Um, okay. What is he gonna do right here? We're gonna run forward. Yep, I go for the dash box setup. I can't believe he blocked high there. Uh, he should actually die here then. For, I guess, 4 bar or 3 bar if I really want to, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay. We managed to pull off the victory with Krillin, doing a ton of damage off of our 2M. Um, so I'm pretty proud of that. We managed to close it out, even though it was extremely close. I didn't even remember this set being that close, but I guess I, I guess it was. Okay, um, again. He's running a super unorthodox team. I forgot to comment on that before, but it's pretty similar to the main team I was considering running as well. We drop those combos, because why not? I really need to start playing this team more. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break from doing random teams or whatever theme teams I want to do and just try to practice this team some more. 
there is going to be another CLM for PC every Wednesday, pretty much, so I can pretty much compete in this every week and just get my team back up to snuff. I'll probably join in depending on who else is joining, just because I want to fight the best competition I can. I know the Kill Sage joined the past two times, but the first time, which I missed, there was like Nitro, the Kill Sage, and um, Lucar, a few other really solid names. Um, ooh, we punished in their lice. And I'm actually really down on this match right now. I already lost Team Going and I barely done any damage to him. Um, okay, we got him right there. I do not hold my um, solar throw down, which is why I actually ended up getting those situations where Krillin side switches, so I should actually probably start doing that. Okay, um, uh, nice. That was a good spark, but we knocked him down and we got around him because Super Dash is kind of a busted mechanic. That they really, I don't even know how they can even fix it. If they make it slower, it's going to change how combos can work. Um, he tried to beat the unbeatable Solar Flare Yamcha assist combo, uh, and we managed to get Bowley out of the way. Okay. Already we've made a bit, a bit of a comeback, so we're actually pretty even at this point. He does have a little bit more bar, I have a bad Super Dash. Um, okay, he's not gonna get a ton of damage off this because it was a JL, JM starter or something like that. I probably would have level 3 there if I was in his situation. Okay, I was mashing, so I got hit there. Um, Super Dash Clash, love to see it, and he got hit by that. Let's see if I go for the rejump. Um, no, I dropped it. <laughs> even though I literally just learned those. I can't believe I'm still dropping those. Okay, level 2, level 1, level 3, okay. I guess I'm burning all my meter right here to go for the kill. I don't think this is a bad- oh, I dropped it. Um, well, that kind of sucks, and nice block. I literally lost track of the Yamcha for a second just now, and he got hit by the dragon. Okay, we got his Jiren out of the way. We're in a pretty solid point right now. He's down to solo Blue Vegeta, and hopefully I don't end up losing it, because <laughs> that would really suck. Um, jump back, Krillin. Nice, he dodged- I really need to work on my assist calls. It's really starting to become a problem. I'm starting to notice it more and more. Um, okay, but we I agree with this decision to still get Yamcha out of there because Krillin's got better neutral. Um, okay, nice. He got hit by the key boss for some reason. I should have gone for the rejump extension right there. But that's okay. We got the solo flare. He got hit by the sand. And I actually thought he could have killed him if I went for my um, supers. He got hit by the low. Well, I managed to bring it back, win, them, win this set, and continue in loser set, even though I wasn't particularly doing too well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. The next set of the tournament.